I am here in Geelong, Singapore's premier red light district. A lot of people think, oh my god, it must be so dodgy. Well, it depends which part you go to. Some lorongs, or rather streets, are dodgier than the others. So I'm going to take you through Geelong to some of my favourite spots. And hopefully, you'll like it as much as I do after this episode. So we're here at the corner coffee shop of Geelong Lorong 29. And this is one of my favourite places to take my friends to because it's got all the good stuff here. Hokkien mee, they've got really good oyster omelette and of course my favourite, the pork satay. This one is extra special because it's premium pork belly marinated in 12 different spices including the very expensive saffron. I need to double check with him first whether he still uses scully cut corner. Uncle, you may use this to marinate your... Oh, hongwa. Ah, hongwa yo ah. Okay, okay, he still uses it, okay. There's no distinctive taste to saffron, I would say. It's more like the aroma and the colour. And for a hawker to still believe in marinating their meats with such uh, expensive spice, makes me feel like oh, I'm pretty rich eating this and it's only $1 a stick. The fat melts in your mouth. The fat to meat ratio is perfect. It's nicely charred on the outside as well. This stuff can do no wrong in my eyes. Okay, so we're here at Penang Seafood Restaurant. This place is obviously a, like a Zita restaurant, but I'm like, don't even waste time. Just go straight to the prime thing, and that is the Penang Asam Laksa. It's kind of like a spicy, sour noodle dish. So it's got like lots of sardines, julienne's of pineapple, cucumber. After trying the famous ones in Penang, this place serves the best Penang Laksa I've ever tasted. The flavour is way more robust. It like hits you in the face. Look at all the liao. So much fish. Love it. Textures are amazing as well. You get a bit of mushiness from the fish and the chewiness from the noodles and the crunchiness from the vegetables. So if you're very used to the Penang version with the clear broth, you probably wouldn't like this. But I say give it a try anyway because the umami in this is mind-blowing. We're here on Aljunit Road and I'm about to take you to a very seedy part of Geelang. This is where you can find lots of drugs that could improve your sexual prowess. It's just right there, blatantly peddling sex drugs at a huge cross junction. I'm gonna bring this GoPro with me and uh, yeah, we'll see how much footage I can get. Okay, Python. Okay, Python. Okay. American woman Viagra. Oh my god! This is how much? 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 Female aphrodisiac water, blue wizard, 15 minutes feeling for women. This is how much? Half an hour. Half an hour. It will last for half an hour. Do you have a lot of time? No. Do you have a new one? No. It's still not a new one. 20? Can you give me a little bit? No. It's less than 20. It's less than 20. Thank you. Bye. So Geelong is a red light district and if you're looking for a little sexual fun, usually the even numbered lorongs are where the brothels are at. And I know the registered brothels are on lorong 6, 8, 16 and 18. The reason why I say the register is because they kind of like have to report back to like the police in Singapore and all the sex workers here are registered and also screened regularly for HIV and other diseases. Jesus. This one is a brothel. You can tell because they've got like a huge unit number. They all smell really nice, like a hotel. And this is like the most obvious one. Welcome, open. I'm sure they're very open. Oh, this is Yate. It's quite pretty. China one, $60 one hour. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. So $60 for China, 50 Vietnam Thai. So they live inside there so. So just now those two girls that came back there from China, they came back buying groceries to cook for everyone. They're also prostitutes. Are they legal? Girls, 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 girls. Confirm. Ah, yeah, this one, this one, this one. There, open. Number four, the pink color one. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at the guys that will come here. These guys will never, ever get sex for free. So mean, I'm so mean. This is why I'm still single. And there's another one coming out, 14 on the right side. No photos. He says hello, then we should say hello back. Uh, you guys will not be entertained or served or like angry. Day. Turn right, turn right. Everybody like going to bash us up. Fuck, let's go faster, let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's scary, please. Here's a supermarket that's kind of not your usual NTUC cold storage. It's called iTech and it looks like this. Like <laughs> the logo. It's open 24 hours. I don't know why, uh, but huh, whenever I see like a bright yellow tag, right, it screams discount to me. In terms of the prices of the dry goods, it seems like it's kind of competitive with the city prices, but the fresh meat is cheaper. $2.75 for spare ribs. It's very fresh. La. Look, the blood is red colour and bright red. They don't even put the padding to absorb the blood. I think that's why you saved the money. <gasps> Ooh, that one's damn gross! Look at you! It is catfish! 
I like catfish curry, but that's because it's chopped up and cooked for me. But if I saw that in the water, I would never catch it. Can you look at it? It's like an alien. It's got little tentacles in the front of the mouth. Then it's the vegetable section. It all looks fresh. Nothing looks dying. So the cigarettes here are generally cheaper. It's about a dollar cheaper. Lo and behold, if you want to try exotic beers, this seems to be the place to do it. I'm not saying like this is the best supermarket or anything, but you know, if you're in the Geelang hood, you want to get your dinner, before you go home and do a grocery run, come on, everything is all in one spot. Great land. Geelang is also famous for durian, and there's so many durian stalls around, but my favourite one has to be Fruits Top One Department Store. I always come here for my durian fix, and I'm never disappointed. And if it's not good, they'll take it back. And they'll give you another one until you're satisfied. But as you can see, it's not durian season. So it's like, uh, a few pretty durians left on the shelf but uh, boss says that the next time the durian season comes around should be somewhere around February but definitely around June, July But I can you This is This is Oh! Oh my god! Mm. Oh my god guys <laughs> Boom! This is everything I need in a durian It's mushy, custody, bitter, sweet Mm, 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 mm. For those of you who've never tried durian before, you don't know what it is. It's very common for people to describe durian as something that tastes like sewage or rotten socks or like a hobo's toe, whatever. But that's because they go in thinking that they're gonna bite into a fruit, which is usually juicy, crunchy, and sweet, right? But forget that it's a fruit because it does not taste like any fruit that exists on this planet. Just go in thinking that, hey, I'm gonna dig into custard. It's gonna be creamy, it's gonna be warm, and it's gonna have the same pungency and bite as blue cheese. Just Bear that in mind, and I think you'll accept this better when you put it in your mouth. So I just found out that this place also organizes durian parties. So if an event, a family gathering or whatever, you can just call them and they'll just bring durians, you can tell them how much you want. They'll even bring a guy to open all the durians for you. It sounds like really my kind of party. Legit. <laughs> salons here open to 4 a.m. So if you think this salon is a dodgy salon, huh, I'm gonna show you. It looks pretty stylish. It's really just a regular hair salon. It's just that it opens to 4 a.m. So you want to get your hair coloured, cut, treated. So just wash and blow before you go to bed because you're too damn lazy like me to wash your own hair. This is the place. And what's a red light district without a sex shop? There are plenty around but this one is the most photogenic one. I mean look at all the fairy lights. Alright, there's no need to go inside the sex shop. We know what they sell. It's sex toys. I mean if you're above 21, come and check it out yourself. So I hope you like this episode of Ross Recommends. I highly recommend that you come check out Geelang. I know Geelang has a really bad rep because everyone knows this is a red light district. But look beyond the sleazy lorongs and back alleyways. This place has got so much more to offer. Alright, that's all I have for you for this episode of Ross Recommends. Don't forget to download the Click Network app so you can catch episodes up to a month before they hit YouTube. Till the next episode, my name is Ross. Bye! Bye.